at ALH-3 helicopter cleared for flight after investigation into crash. After being grounded for over four months due to a fatal crash involving the Indian Navy, the HAL-built ALH-3 helicopter has now been cleared to resume operations. A detailed investigation by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited AL, and the Flight Evaluation Committee FEC, identified the root cause and outlined preventive steps. Root Cause – Improper Ground Taxiing The crash was primarily linked to faulty ground taxiing techniques. Investigators found that using aggressive cyclic input with minimal collective caused excessive stress on key components, especially the swash plate, which was found cracked in the crashed helicopter. This is similar to issues previously observed in Apache helicopters. In response, HAL has recommended a safer taxiing method using light collective and smooth cyclic control to reduce dynamic loads. Updated pilot manuals will now guide crews in using this approach. Maintenance and operational changes. The Indian Army and Air Force are restarting ALH-3 flights under a phased plan with revised maintenance procedures. Helicopters using the Sky system showed no damage and remained operational, underscoring the importance of variant-specific handling and upkeep. The ALH-3, used for heavy-duty operations, is especially vulnerable to mechanical fatigue from frequent taxing and lifting. Among the two taxing techniques studied, only one was considered safe for long-term use. These findings have been included in the updated maintenance protocols. Ship-based operations add extra strain. HAL also highlighted that naval operations introduce additional stress on the helicopter. Ship landings cause constant rotor adjustments due to the rolling deck, increasing fatigue on the airframe and landing gear. Reinforcements, better rotor control algorithms, and improved pilot training are being prioritized to handle these conditions. Dealing with fatigue in the ALS Drew variant. In the ALS Drew variant, component fatigue remains a serious concern. HAYHEL is being urged to use real-world world flight data, advanced sensors, and predictive maintenance tools to track and manage material fatigue. Metallurgical stress from repeated load cycles, especially on the swash plate, needs closer monitoring and design upgrades. Real-time flight data recorders and thermal sensors already used globally are recommended for the ALH series to detect early warning signs and improve safety. Strong foundation, but continued monitoring needed. The ALH platform has proven strength, notably through its use in the Sarang aerobatic team. However, the same intense conditions also demand early fatigue detection, particularly in parts exposed to heavy stress during takeoff, landing, and ground handling. HAL must urgently enhance monitoring systems, materials, and inspection protocols to maintain high safety and performance standards across the fleet. Strategic importance and market impact. With rising tensions between India and Pakistan, quickly reactivating the Dhruv helicopter fleet is strategically vital. Already serving the Army, Navy, and Air Force, the Dhruv plays a key role in logistics, transport, and frontline deployment. HAL has issued new safety advisories for pilots and maintenance crews. As a result of the positive updates and strong future outlook, HAL's stock prices have surged, reflecting renewed confidence in the Dhruv program. Next steps. HAL must now release updated fatigue data, especially for critical parts like the swash plate, supported by simulations and real-time performance models. By combining improved handling techniques with modern diagnostics, HAL can enhance the durability and safety of the entire ALH fleet. What are your thoughts on HAL's Dhruv helicopter being cleared for re-induction into operations? Share your views in the comments below.